Taiwan's people are also among the world's greatest lovers of flowers, however, and Taipei's Jinguo Market is the country's foremost weekend flower market. Add to this the Neihu Flower Market, which is open daily, and it is clear that flowers are really a part of people's everyday lives. This is because flowers bring relaxation and add beauty to life. Floral-themed gardens also provide locations for people to appreciate flowers in their leisure time. There are also countless floral exhibitions at which Taiwan's blooms compete for attention. Although Taiwan's people are often described as being workaholic, actually their passion for flowers is far greater. With each wave of visitors to flower exhibitions, a new generation of people discovers an intimate relationship with flowers, and thereafter, flowers become a key element in their families' lives. Another way in which the people of Taiwan like to add color to their lives is by using flowers to communicate their feelings for each other, whether expressing the tender concern for a family member or passionate emotion for an intimate lover. Every flower symbolizes a wish. Every bloom whispers in a loved one's ear. Heartfelt messages are thus conveyed through the medium of flowers. <laughs> And so this island of Taiwan, on the western edge of the Pacific, has become one of the world's largest gardens. People around the world look in awe at the wide variety of beautiful flowers produced. Together with the support of other flower-related industries, this has opened up a whole new world for Taiwan's floral markets, and has added yet another bud to the bouquet of Taiwan's miracles. This is the world's number one biotech orchid garden. In it are gathered orchids from all over the world. Local and foreign orchid lovers alike can come here to enjoy so many great varieties in just a single visit. In this kingdom of orchids, Taiwan extends out to the world, and the world makes its way to Taiwan. As Taiwan's economy has grown, so have people's incomes. One consequence is that people can enjoy flowers on a daily basis. A festival celebration or wedding banquet without flowers is therefore unimaginable. Everything from researchers and horticulturalists developing new varieties to entrepreneurs bringing Taiwan's flowers to market may be considered as technical aspects. Then the blossoming of plants from the Earth's bosom is ultimately a result of nature's benevolence. Although the artistic application of flowers developed later in Taiwan than in Europe, the U.S. or Japan, over just a few years it has overtaken theirs and now stands out on international arts markets.比完赛以后他们可能第三名就做不是台湾然后他们会觉得说其实台湾人拿到的花是最漂亮的那刚好那时候比赛带了很多很多的蝴蝶兰各种不一样图案的有黄的有斑点的什么样的兰花我都有比
As the World Orchid Conference drew to a close in Dijon, France, Taiwan horticulturalists won several top three prizes for individual orchids, and the overall design of Taiwan's booth was awarded the bronze medal. Such good results bode well for these new varieties, which are set to become the future superstars of the floral world. Taking Taiwan's finest and most beautiful orchids with him, Mr. Feng Jiangui flies to Germany to visit his business partners. About 80% of the orchids grown here are from varieties cultivated by him. Seedlings grown in Taiwan are then flown to Europe, where they are further cultivated and, after blossoming, sold at market. This makes the whole operation like a two-person cooperation and is further evidence of the appreciation of Taiwan's markets by international horticultural experts. Taiwan's orchid seedlings are good. We have had nothing but good experiences with them. We can say that 90 to 95 percent of test results on new varieties have been positive. This, of course, is very good because transportation and contacts with Taiwan are time-consuming and costly. Nevertheless, our collaboration is worthwhile. Also, we can always get new products for sale on the European floral market, and we will continue our floral cultivation. We have to uh, um, say it's, it's the difference between what has been made in Europe and what we can get from ta Taiwan. There's, um, there's uh, many new things coming from Taiwan. Mm -hmm. If I can continue importing good new varieties from Taiwan, Phalaenopsis will still be popular in five years' time. In May 2005, through careful design and planning, completion of the new Airbus order for Taiwan's national carrier, China Airlines, will bring a new miracle of beauty to the world skies. First Airbus, decorated with a Phalaenopsis amabilis design to represent the floral glory of Taiwan, takes to the skies. With this most beautiful and precious flower, it takes Taiwan's greetings to people around the world. So, Phalaenopsis orchids are taking off. Together with the dreams of the Taiwanese people, they fly high into the sky. As Phalaenopsis becomes a byword for Taiwan's flowers, all those who work to achieve this and all their stories do not end there, but move on to the cultivation of other future world-class superstars. In this, Taiwan spares no effort. We truly believe that one day, in every corner of the world and every day, someone will look at these beautiful flowers and ask, where does this flower come from? Only to be told, it comes from Taiwan.